In this devlog, I'll be given the gems that the player collects to use. I'll do this by creating an economy system. I'll also be changing the score system that I added in my previous devlog to work better with the new economy system and gem system. So let's get right into it. I started by opening up a sprite and trying to make the components that I needed to create the UI for the economy system. I quickly realised that I wasn't getting very far with this and asked my friend Pixelzoink for help. She agreed and soon after sent over the a sprite file. Now I just had to export the textures from a sprite and import them into Godot. Once they were in Godot, I started to create the GUI and this was the result. I still wasn't a fan so I headed back to a sprite and spent a couple of hours designing more components based on what Pixelzoink had already designed. If you want to check out more assets designed by myself and Pixelzoink, you can head over to my itch page. We have both free and premium assets that you can use to create your games. Link in the description. Now back to the devlog. I imported the new components that I just made into Godot and used them to redesign the GUI. Here's the final result that I'll be sticking with. Now it's time to add some code. I'll start with the gem selling system. At the end of each day, the player will have the option to sell the gems that they have collected or save them if they think the price is too low. The price of each gem, like most other things in the game, will be completely random and changed every day. The current price of each gem can be seen above the bar inside of each box. The bar itself can be used to see how close the gem is to be in full price. The more green, the better. The player can sell gems by clicking the sell button. I mean obviously why else would I put a sell button there if it wasn't used to sell things. I also added some screen shake for if the player tries to sell gems that they don't have. Ok so the player can sell gems and get coins but what can they do with these coins? Well they can buy things from the shop that I haven't made yet. So let's do that next. The shop will offer 3 items. House upgrades, family upgrades and luxury upgrades. Each item will also have 3 tiers available to purchase. The player will have to purchase all 3 items and get them to tier 3 in order to complete the game. The goal is to complete the game in as few days as possible, compared to how it was previously where the player had to try and survive as many days as possible. I think I prefer this way because the game will actually have an end rather than just go on infinitely. Every time a player purchases a new tier, the upkeep cost for the tier will become more expensive. Talking about upkeep costs, let's work on that system next. The left side of the menu will be used to show the player how much money they have, but also how much they are spending in the current day. I'll use two different colours to indicate between the money they have and the money they're spending. The positive values will be at the top in green and the negative values will be underneath in red. The colour of the result value will change depending on whether it is positive or negative. This part of the GUI is heavily inspired by the end of day screen in Papers Please. If the end result is negative, the player will need to sell gems to make it positive before they move on to the next day. If they don't have enough gems to sell to make it positive, they'll go bankrupt and have to restart the game from the beginning. So you better pray that RN Jesus is on your side. Once the player is done selling gems and buying upgrades, they can click the next day button to start a new day. This will generate a random level and start the gameplay loop all over again. This will be repeated until the player completes the game. So there we have it, the game now has an economy system, the gems finally have a use and there's even an end goal. Before you click off the video, consider checking out the next devlog where I'll be adding lots of polish to the game. If I've released the video, it'll be on screen now. If I haven't, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss it. See you next time.